Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Katie if you're new and if you've been here before then welcome back. So today I've got a small food haul for you. So I'm not going to ramble on too much because it's only a very... Oh girl, it's only a very quick... Are you okay? It's only a very quick video. So without further ado, let's get on with it. If you do enjoy, please hit the like button. It really helps me out and subscribe if you haven't already. Tonight for dinner, we have got burgers. So we've got these Aldi buns. Didn't know whether to get these brioche or the normal. But these are cheaper. Didn't know whether to like slightly grill them either, but I chose not to. There we go. So I'm gonna pop on some of this avocado. It needs eating. I had half of it last night on half bagel. So, yeah, I just needed eating. This was from Iceland. It was yellow stickered down, but it was, uh, I think it was £1.19 for two. That's not bad. And I couldn't get any on Olio, so. And then the burgers are from Lidl. They've been in the freezer for a long time. I love them all. I don't understand this. I've done some um, dippers too. Not dippers. Yeah, mozzarella. And um, um, they've all just sort of popped out. Like, I'll pop the... Um, one, two, so I have got jalapeno poppers. Dan doesn't like them. I absolutely love them, so I've got those. Dan has got the mozzarella sticks, which have all exploded. I'm sure they'll taste fine. There we go. That's down. Cheese slice them each. These are from Audi. And one on this one. Hopefully they'll melt a little bit. We've got some tomatoes. These were from Olio, so completely free. Do you just want one tomato, Dan? Oh, no tomatoes. Dan doesn't want any tomatoes. Do you want lettuce? Just dropping lettuce on the floor. And do you want some mayonnaise in it? I do. Or burger sauce. Then we've got some burger sauce that we're gonna pop on it. Very yellow, very fragrant. Pop the lids on top and then move it around. Look at my messy station. We've got some of the cheesy coleslaw from Old Lidl. Lidl, this is all from Lidl. I, th I think I said Aldi earlier. I did some Lidl. Scoop of that on there. Scoop of that on there. We're done. Here we go. So this is dinner for this evening. Beef burger, jalapeno poppers and coleslaw and then Dan has got beef burger, very exploded mozzarella dippers and coleslaw. But that's dinner for tonight. You can probably hear the um, the food cooking in the background but just before I dish out, um, you're probably wondering where I got the chicken from and the korma sauce from. So uh, I did a Uber Eats order because they had a half price up to £16 on grocery shops. So I got all of this cost uh, £20 and 70 pence. I got Beef mints, they only had 12% fat, but I thought, okay, we can do, we can, we can can deal with that, that's fine. Got this pack of breaded ham, um, five slices, just for Dan's lunches. I've got a house salad there. My messy fridge, honestly, it's absolutely disgusting at the moment. Ran out of cheese, so we got the extra mature cheddar cheese there. Got a full pint of milk. Got a little haul just inside the weekly dinners. Also picked up this halo top gooey brownie 360 calories a tub amazing and finally up in this cupboard here we've got a bag of six oh big oh, we've got these six bags of um cheese what's it i think that's all we got for the 20 pounds we also got the chicken the three breasts of chicken that's sitting away quite nicely there it's gonna be really loud and we got this korma curry sauce so all of that food the chicken the mince the salad the crisps the ice cream, the ham, the sauce, chicken, I've already said that, all came to £20.70p, that's with the delivery fee and the service charge, I thought that was amazing, so yeah, without further ado, let's dish up this korma curry. So, I'm using the ball in the bag rice from Lidl, and Dan's going to kill me for giving him all this rice, but he's having all this rice, I doubt he'll finish it, but I'm not having rice today. I, because I'm on like this somewhat health kick, I had to choose between rice or naan bread. So I went for naan bread. Um, I could have had a whole naan bread, but I want some for tomorrow. So I've saved half for tomorrow there too. Just gonna give two seconds just to heat this up slightly. So I've just moved the rice into sort of a circle. I've used three sort of big size chicken breasts for this. I'm gonna use, say, one and a half tonight for our dinner and then I'm gonna save a little bit of chicken and a little bit of sauce for my lunch tomorrow. So that is why I've only had half an arm bread as well because I'm gonna save in half for tomorrow. So, I mean, mine's gonna look very boring, but I'm gonna have a bit more chicken than Dan. Right. 
And then grab my mitt. Ooh, that oven is hot. So um, I've got half a garlic bread. A uh, garlic bread, naan bread. These are the little um, taste of ones, the large ones. Garlic and coriander. I'm just gonna pop that. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. It's really hot and it won't fit. Right. I'm gonna pop it a tear it in half. That's it. Crikey. Right, there we go. <laughs> Pop half there. And half there. Ha, ha, ha. I hope Dan is hungry. So yeah, this is our dinner. It is chicken korma with the sauce from co-op that I just showed you. Rice from Lidl and naan bread. Garlic and coriander naan bread from Lidl as well. But yeah, can't wait to tuck into this. So tonight's dinner is catsick on a bed of house salad from co-op with half an naan bread. It's not actually catsick, obviously. It is the leftover korma from last night that I saved and I added a little bit of water, a bowl and threw it in the microwave for three minutes, mixed it together so that's why it's nice and wet. I'm gonna dip the naan and eat the salad. I've just come back from the gym, that's why I didn't show you dishing up. And Dan had his rolls that he was meant to take to work today but he forgot them so he had them for dinner. It was chicken and mayo and I think it was ham, cheese and mint and yogurt. You know, I like to do him something different, like two different ones. But yeah, he was delightfully full up with those and I'm going to now fill myself up with this. So tonight's dinner is pasta bake and I mean I like it much more crispier but I'm trying to do this quickly because the kids do need to go to bed in the next hour. Um, did them some garlic bread too. This is the pasta bake sauce. I use the creamy tomato pasta bake from Asda. So I'm not eating until later tonight. I don't know if I'm going to have some of this or just something else. I'm not sure. But I'm going to the gym. So this is just for Dan and the children. Hope you're hungry, Dan. So I'm on Dan's. I had to mix the pasta. I'd like a tiny bit of the um, bow tie basket pasta. So we used a bit of that. Two. And for the kitties. Sorry, I'm not saying that, am I? Because I spoke whilst I, <laughs> about what I made um, a moment ago. Actually, this pasta, oh, I didn't part boil the pasta beforehand, so the pasta's a bit like al dente. There we go, that should be enough. Mm, that's pretty delicious, actually. Right, so, got some garlic bread. It's just a 10 pack from Sainsbury's, I believe. Two for Dan. And then I've got some for the children, which I'm just gonna cut up into little strips with my kitchen scissors. Actually, I'll do Rita's and strips. Albert can have chunks because he is a big boy now. Used the wrong plate, really, for this. Got no segments, uh, no bit for the bread to go. Right, there we go. That is their dinner. We've got one for Albert. We've got, that's not Albert, it's definitely Albert's. We've got one for Dan. We've got one for Albert. And we've got a plate for Rita, too. So hopefully they enjoy it. Just thought I'd show you what the children ate. So Rita left this. Albert didn't like his garlic bread, so we didn't eat that. Dan had that, but he had the same amount of pasta again. It's not bad, is it? So, tonight for dinner, we have got avocado on toast again. A little less bougie this time because we don't have the cheesy bread. I've got a Warburton's, I think it's Warburton's, um, protein bagel here. They're 160 calories. I thought it was really good. Dan's got two slices of white farmhouse bread from King's Mill. Is it King's Mill or Warburton? King's Mill, I think. Anyways, I have mashed up some avocado. It's two whole avocados I've used here with some lemon juice and some salt and pepper. I'm going to pop those on the toast and on the avo. It's going to be a bit difficult. I've got a hole in the middle. Should definitely use a spoon, not a fork to do this. But I um, mashed it with a fork because it's easier that way. Right, gutted, I'm leaving. Look at it. I get a spoon. No, a spoon. I'm just turning off my poached eggs. I leave them in. I set the alarm for four minutes, but it's always, it always goes over. So I should really set it for like four and a half and then just let it stew for a minute. Right, pop that on there. Presentation is not key today because I am hungry. And I can hear one of the babies through the baby monitor. Right, so, mmm, that is good, spot on. Um, so, I haven't tried these before. These are the Mattison's Turkey Rashers. We were told to try them because they're only 29 calories per slice. And, yeah, I doubt they taste like bacon. I've cooked them up, you do a minute and a half on each side. Pop that on top there. 
and then I've just left them in the pan for a couple of minutes whilst I was waiting for everything else. So they have browned up a little bit more. Do -do -do -do. Great source of protein. Look at me acting like I know what I'm doing. Right, so these eggs are ready. Dan obviously has the fresh eggs, freshly made. I've got eggs that have been sat on a ladle, on a, uh, oh, what's it called? Spatula for five minutes. I don't mind. I do not mind. I'm gonna pop down. Dan's out there ready. Oh, gives a lovely shape, these um, egg poachers things. I've done these perfectly today, I must admit. Right, so these are mine. Slide one off there, slide the other one off there. Nice runny middles. And that is it. Oh, no it's not. I'm gonna add some of my crushed chilies on top. Just for a little bit, oh, maybe too much? No, let's go for it, let's go to town. Bit of spice. I'm just using the Sainsbury's crushed chilies there. And these last forever, if you don't use them much. <laughs> just kidding. Um, I've been using them more, more lately since I've been having this meal. And what else did I have it on the other day? Can't remember. But anyways, this is our dinner for this evening. Poached eggs on guacamole with turkey bacon and chips. I know you're hungry. I will give you some food a little bit later, okay? So that is everything. I hope you did enjoy. Like I said at the beginning, like, subscribe, and also comment. Tell me how you're doing. I love to chat to you in the comments. It really like brightens my day every time someone, oh, I just stung the cat. Someone comments something and we have a little chinwag. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you again in the next video.